isn't a sport that most people are familiar with, but uh, now you can really get into it. How about being uh, skilled enough to be a champion? Mm -hmm. Right here in Metro Detroit, there's a teen fencing champ who has her eyes set on Olympic gold in 2020. Am I doing that right? <laughs> you killed my brother. Be for that. <laughs> I caught up with Micah Slade and got a hands-on lesson to see how she's taking a slice out of the competition. You guys are going to... Micah, how did you get into fencing and choose this as a sport? So I started fencing when I was about eight years old. My dad seen an article in the Girls Point newspaper mm -hmm. at the neighborhood club, and um, they were offering basic fencing practice or lessons. And he took me there, and before I hated the sport, like I did not like <laughs> it at all, because mm -hmm. like getting poked is uncomfortable. <laughs> And then I seen great success because in my first tournament, I placed third place. Wow, the very first time yes. you ever did any <laughs> yes. tournament. So you have a natural talent yes. for this then. Yeah. Okay. He's seen it in me before I could see it in myself. So you're going to also teach me a little bit of how to do all this stuff yes. too, right? Please go easy on me. Okay. Because <laughs> I don't like to get poked either. Right. <laughs> you can try, try this one. Okay. This is a jacket. Okay. And it's, um... It's made in a material to where it doesn't like rip or and it's thick enough. Okay, so when you come oh, at me with the sword, yeah. it won't like stab me. Right. <laughs> you don't have to be stiff, just <laughs> loosen up. <laughs> you, just, you just have to what loosen up. What you trying up. to say, Micah, my Just stiff? loosen up. I practice at least five hours a day, Monday through Friday here at the Renaissance Fencing Club. I practice on my technique. And the final. Good. I practice the potential opponent's moves. I practice my attacks and defense. And then I also do like yoga and meditation and um, cardio and weight training. Okay, so like everything from keeping your mind yeah. right to keeping your cardio yeah, up. Yeah, it's important to be positive. So arm first and then look. Ready? Okay. I like that it brings out the inner me. Like, mm. I get to dance gracefully up and down the fencing strip. And I think of it as a physical chess game. Hmm. And it's like, you're trying to predict your opponent and make moves for them to fall into. Too sharp. You gotta start. Micah's goal is to make it to the Olympics. Her inspiration came when she met other Olympic fencers. We had the opportunity to practice with the Olympians. And me, I was the only African-American female mm -hmm. fencer. And there's another African-American female, and she's on the team already. Mm -hmm. And her name is Nazinga Prescott. She's from New York and she really inspired me and I feel like she opened a lot of doors for me. Micah has her sights set on the 2020 Olympics and wants to inspire others to get into the sport. This is not the normal sport that you see a lot of African Americans represented in, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's what you want to do, you want to open doors yes. so they can see that there are other possibilities, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, she was such a nice young lady. Yeah. Mild-mannered, but boy, when she gets out there with that sword. So she qualified for, for the Olympics. For 2016, yeah, wow. but it didn't work out. She is the top of her game. This girl is definitely going places, and we're going to be keeping an eye on Micah, her career, her Olympic yeah. quest, and we can't wait to see what happens in 2020. It's too bad that they couldn't raise the funds to get her. I mean, I she's know. in her prime right now. I mean, competition wait, ready. It's ready to go, ready to go. It's hard it to find happen. a date. It's very intimidating. Can you imagine? <laughs> so what do you do for a little hobby? Oh, I carry a sword and uh, just watch out. I, oh. <laughs> Next on